This episode of the show is brought to you by Patreons such as Tay Lin, Dharma Wheelies, Milkbox, Phone Losers of America, Fancy Pants, MST3 Clay, Gordo, Crispy808, and Mr. Turbois. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can help contribute to the show by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Apparently, the site may be blocked on some corporate networks, as well as hotspots such as AT&T and Starbucks. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. You can find some of the archives on archive.org. Just search for AKSPA on archive.org, and you'll find the immoralhole.com, as well as travelswithmiriam.com archives. This was a Christian show. Hello? I don't know what you're getting into. Hello? Yeah. I thought this was a Christian show. What? Why you... I thought this was a Christian show, and then you call in and you start running your fucking mouth off saying things that people shouldn't be hearing. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. You got the wrong number. No, we had you on the line. You called in. You said you had something wrong with your dog, like he was attached to your dick or something, and then, you know, right, we whatever, let you bye. on, and then you started saying... Rundy. Rundy. Hello? Hi, Rundy's nuts in here. Hi. Rundy? You got the tires for no. sale? Well, I can wrap them around my car. Motel 6 Clarkston, this is on. How may I best? What was your name? Zahn. This is Motel 6. The Zahn? Yes. Can you spell that? Z-A-U-H-N. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to... I made a B sound. What, you made a C sound? A no, Kazan? No, 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 it's, it's Z, like, yeah, like Vaughn with a Z at the front. I'm not confident I know what your name is at this point. Um, you said C A Z O N. No, no, no. It's Z A U O H N. Z A U. Zon. Yes. Is that your home planet, or like what is that? Are you from the planet <laughs> Zon? Is is there a planet Zon? <laughs> I, I I don't know. Am I? <laughs> My parents were hippies. I have no idea what my name means. Oh, that explains everything. Did you did you grow up in a Sprinter van or a <laughs> or a VW wagon? Oh, oh, they had a they, they had a they had a VW van for a minute. Oh, so so you, you ever? So I was in an airplane, uh, you know, coming home from uh, holiday travels, and I was uh, peeing. You know, standing up peeing while the airplane, there's some turbulence. You ever think like, like picture yourself from outside the plane. You're in this like metal tube rocketing through the air at like 800 miles an hour. And in there, there's a person standing up peeing into a toilet. Isn't that <laughs> <Right>. weird? <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Isn't that kind of fucked up? Like if... If, like, there was just, you had x-ray vision, and you could just see into the plane. Right. You know, and you would just see some dude standing up like he was, you know, at home. Right. You know, Flying through the air he, at 600 but he's, miles he's, an hour. <laughs> and, and he's five miles up. Right. I mean, would you ever do that? Would you Dad. ever just, like, if you were five miles above the planet, you know, just floating, would you try to urinate? Yeah, I don't imagine. Yeah. So I had that thought, <laughs> amongst others. Well, that's quite the thought. <laughs> what can I do for you this evening? So is your hotel, like, r nice, or is it, like, run down? Um, like, you well, know, we're a budget. We're a budget motel. Through there. Through there. It's, it's, it's not... Mm. It's, it, it's not the... Uh, the Four Seasons, but it's much nicer than most Motel 6s you're going to run across. Oh. 
So it is a Motel 6. Okay. Yes. What about Tom? Is Tom, Tom still there? <laughs> no. Yeah, I see. It's been a while. I don't think he works there anymore. <laughs> How do you just fire your spokesperson? Actually, I think he's dead, isn't he? Maybe is he? not. Oh, shit. I'm speaking a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I can understand why Jared got rid of, I mean, Subway got rid of Jared and all. Right? Yeah, that guy. that he's a prevert. Yeah. I think it was, you know, I think before he lost the weight, he wasn't a prevert. And then he, uh, and then he lost all the weight by eating those sandwiches. It was all the, uh, what is it they put in the Subway sandwich bread? It's like some kind of, it's used for like insulation or something. AIDS. Really? <laughs> yeah, thank you. My my esteemed colleague um, reminded me of what it was, and I think that made him crazy. I think it was the Subway sandwiches that did it. Right. And well, you know, on that same on that same score, I stayed at a Motel Six once, and I've never been the same for it. And I think my life was on a good trajectory, and then I stayed at a Motel <laughs> Six, and then everything went downhill from there. Right, I I I could see that. <laughs> it may have been some like fungus in the in the tub or something, and it like invaded the cells of my brain and turned me into a fucking idiot. And um, and I think that's what happened. Uh, I think I should uh, maybe not stay there. You know, whatever few brain cells I have left, I need to be protective of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, um, it's been nice talking you, to you then. <laughs> all right, uh, Zon. Um, when the Gorgonauts come, you know, and attack, I'll think of you. All right. <laughs> you have a good evening. Okay, bye, Barrel Ass. <laughs> nice talking to you. Good good talk to you. Bye. Thank you for calling. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. How can I help you? You? Yeah, it's on Toilet Barge Way. Clarkson Holiday Inn, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Is this the location on Toilet Barge Way? What was that? Is Is this hotel located on Toilet Barge Way? No. What is it located at? 700 Port Drive. What's that, honey? 700 Port Drive. Are you eating the telephone? Are you hungry? What's the matter? You need a sandwich? I can't hear you. What can I help you with? Why, you have a horrible telephone line. It sounds like you're having a toss with it right before the new year, and you're going to get rid of it, just like every woman does. It's all about your feelings and about your wants and needs, and nothing about anybody else. Not a phone line, not a man, nobody. Yep. Oh, at least you at least you admitted that you're a horrible, horrible woman, and you don't deserve anything nice because you you destroy everything you come across. Perfect. What was your name? My name is Dwight. Dwight? And what was your last name? Yes. Last name is McClanahan. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, you could go to Home Depot. You take the hotel's credit card. And what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to find a new cord for that telephone machine. And then I don't you're going to also hotel get an enhancement. Card. Well, then use your own personal one, okay? No, I'm I mean, not doing I, I'm that. a man. I don't. I don't. I don't have to explain all of this to you. You should have learned some of this in college when you got your liberal arts degree. Do you're you even go know to who Home you're on the telephone line? Go I don't even care. You're going to go to aisle 11 next to the ropes, chains, and electronics, no, I'm not. and you're going to get I'm a not new doing telephone. That. Yes, you are. Yes, no, you I'm are. Not. Right after work on your own time. On no, your I'm own not. time, matter of fact, you're good. No, yes, I'm not. Are. No, I'm not. You know why? Because because no, I I'm not. You. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, Is you there are. anything I can help you with, go? seriously? 
Yes, you're going to go. Now, okay, we're going to determine if this goodbye. is Goodbye. I will be calling the police and reporting you for harassment. Thank you. Goodbye. No, why? Because I told you what to do to you, child. child. You're a child. Yeah. Thank you for calling River Tree Inn and Suites. This is Nate. How may I help you? Hi, I was paying attention. I was paying attention, and the teacher called on me, and I was paying attention. Isn't that great? That's wonderful. What can we do for you? Well, I'm celebrating that this weekend, and it's also New Year's. I don't know if you knew about that. So this I heard be, a little something uh, about it. Libations in the room. Uh, is it okay if I bring my pet parakeet named Petey? He likes to say yep, people's only, names. <laughs> yep, only pets we accept is dogs. Sorry. Oh well, he can be a, he can become a dog. I'm a dog. <laughs> See, there I'm he is. I'm a dog. I'm gonna hold I'm my. I'm gonna give Petey the dog my my telephone. I, Here, take it, I, boy. I, I, I'm a dog. I, I, hello. Yeah, I'm just listening. I'm a dog. Hey, hey, hey. You might need to see a vet. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Hey. All right, you guys have a good night. Holiday and Express Lewis and Slenda, can I help you? Hey, Linda, I think we got disconnected. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. The first one was like, okay. <laughs> I figured if it's, I figured oh, it'll be a I know it does that every yeah, once in a while. I'm, I'm driving, so it's kind of, kind of in and out. But um, ah, okay. I was just calling to, to make sure that something was okay. Are you guys pet friendly? Is there like a deposit or something that I can pay? Yeah, it's fifty dollars per day. Okay, cool. No problem. I'm going to be there tonight. I've actually got. Um, well, it's that's a box of mice with me, um, but oh. I broke down on the side of the road. It's been quite a night, and I actually had to fix my tire, and I wasn't able to run the car while I was doing that because I was right by the exhaust, and it got really cold in my car, and mm -hmm. these mice are not looking good. I think it got way too cold in my car, so I wanted to bring them in um, and warm them up. I've actually got one in my hands right now trying to trying to warm it up. Um, okay. But I just want to call ahead and make sure that was okay. Well, <laughs> as long as you don't lose any of them. No, I mean they're, you know, fairly stationary. I don't, I don't think that any of them really get away unless someone came and picked one up and carried it off or something. Right, I mean, right. I can just bring them into my allow. room. Yeah, because usually the only thing we allow is dogs. But uh, like I said, it's. Yeah, that's a different one. I've never had anyone ask me that before. So um, you're checking in tonight? Yeah. Which? Yeah, I'm checking in tonight. Mean? And actually, the the longer I hold this this little mouse, like now the the ball is moving, like and the scroll wheel is moving too. So I think mm -hmm. I, I have high hopes for the rest of them. I thought they were done for. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see you yeah, when you get here. Yeah, these are. Okay. Just just wanted to make sure you know these mice. These mice, uh, we're going to be all right, you know, with the roller yeah, ball and the scroll wheel. Well, like you said, as long as they're kept in the cage. I never put mice in the cage. I usually just leave them out on the desk, you know. Okay. I, I like to, to use them quite a bit. Oh, okay. Now you're being funny. Okay. <laughs> all right. I what, guess I'll so see you when you get here. Thing? I'll see you when you get here. Okay. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye, Linda. Lewis, I'm calling you. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Good. Hello. Oh, good. I've got my bye. I need a room booking. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, good. I need room booking. For when? For tonight. What are you looking for? 
One room for two people. One bed or two beds? Two beds sounds better to me. Okay, be $131 before taxes. All right, hurry up, honey baby. Hello? And when will you be departing? When will you be departing, sir? Well, that's a hard question to answer. I'm coming in for the season. Okay, but I can't just put you in. I need to know when you're going to be departing. Oh, you want to know when to take me out? Yes. Oh, probably a day or so. So do you want to part, depart tomorrow or depart on the first? That is the first. No, tomorrow is the 31st. The first is on Sunday. That means the time machine worked. It finally worked. I can't believe it. Okay, sir, I don't have time to do this. If you're going to make a reservation, I need some information. No, it means I, I made it. I don't have to make the reservation if I, I made it there then. Okay. All right, then. I can't stop this now. The time machine didn't work after all. Well, it kind of worked. But do you know it what this us... means? My son's uh, on the phone. So what happened was we didn't go back to like a year kind of time. We went back to a time when like you weren't an incel. Because that's what we were. Check and see if. Uh... Tell us Candy Grand Hotel. This is Alex. Hello? Is this the Grand Hotel? <laughs> Thank you for calling the House the Blue Grand Hotel. Tell us, Candy Grand Hotel. This is Alex. Hi. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Heat up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in my room. Okay. And, uh,. There's only, like, okay. one coat hanger in here, but I need to, like, hang up a whole bunch of shit. And, uh... So I went to Ikea. 215. And I bought, like, 12 hangers. Can I get... Can I get reimbursed for all the hangers I bought? I got all these hangers. No, you cannot. Now, if you needed extra Why? hangers, you could have just called down and we could have... No, because you guys are not very responsive, are you? You always jerk me around every time I stay here. Because I'm, I'm that squirrely guy, you know, I well, come and say, hey, I, I'm here again. I should have went. Yeah, if you needed more hangers, you could have just up, we have called down and asked mm -hmm. for more hangers, and we could have had maintenance go up there and give you more hangers if you wanted some. We won't reimburse you for buying hangers at the store, though. Well, I had to buy them. So, gotcha. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. I can do so about what reimbursing for that. hangers you bought at the store. But if I don't buy the hangers, then the timeline is disrupted. So, like, we go into 2023, and, like, you don't meet the girl, and you don't, you know, get married and have the family and become rich. So, I mean, I could return the hangers, and then that wouldn't happen for you, but... Do you want me to play with the timeline? Is there any other questions I can answer for you? What? I mean, okay. I guess I'll uh, just punch it in here. Okay. As soon as I press, uh, as soon as I go to Amazon and say start return, you're going to be an incel in 2023. Three, two, gotcha. one. You're an incel. You okay with that? I appreciate the call, sir. If you need anything, let let us know. What's your New Year's resolution? Sir, I have to get back to work. But if you need any other hangers, I'd be happy to bring up hangers for you. 
I have many hangers now. I, pre- I, 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 I appreciate the call, sir. And if you need anything, let us know. They're of the wooden. They're of the wooden variety. Wouldn't you like to have as many hangers as I have? No, sir. We have plenty of hangers down here. Oh, you think your hangers are better than mine? Well, I tell you what. Um, I got like, I got like aprons for my hangers. They're like these things at IKEA. They're like little plastic little jackets for the hanger that protect them. Bet you don't got that shit. Sorry, I'm yeah. literally cleaning out yeah, my closet as we speak. Yeah, it's not. Hello. Who is this? I don't understand who you're calling. Yeah, but what do you want from me? Hello? You need me to tell you Merry Christmas? Sure do. How do I know you? You were in my bed last night. How do I know you? You were in my bed last night. How do I know you? That's so fucking weird. Hello? I don't know you. Who is this? No, I don't understand why you're calling me. Uh, we only got to the East Coast. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello ma'am? How Hi. can I help you? You got to help me. So- there's a adult man in a diaper. He keeps knocking on my door, introducing himself as Baby New Year, and he won't leave me the fuck alone. Oh, really? What room are you in? I'm in 215, and he's a big man, and he's got a diaper on, and he's he's got a pacifier in. He's got one of those stupid head things they put on babies, and he's all oh, Baby New Year. And then he's he asked me if I wanted to change him, and I said no. Oh, yes, sir. I will send someone up there right away. Was that you? Hello? He said he's hiding from Father Time. Okay, and there is someone out in the hallway? Because I've been watching the cameras. I haven't seen anything. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, sir. I've been watching... Hello? Did Father Time get you? Hello? Old Mother Hubbard's running around here, too. So, um... I don't have anyone in I can't hear shit. This motherfucking phone, this piece of shit phone. Hang on just a second. I am gonna turn my hearing it up. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mom at Motel, can I help you? Hi, yeah, I need a room. I'm here with my family in the station wagon, and we're driving around sort of in circles because our GPS put us on the wrong route. Now we're headed back your way. Okay. And Um, we need a room, the booking of room. Okay, are you, like, from Moscow? Yeah, 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 we're going here. We're going to get there and... Okay. Okay, so I guess I'll see you when you get here. Oh, no, I'm driving. We need... Here, son, take the wheel. Hi. I'm Ted, and my father's on me. It's a wonderful evening at the Fairbridge in Studio One. This is Laura. Can I get your name? Hi, Laura. Yeah. My name's Timothy. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you doing? Doing okay. Um, I was just up here with my husband, and uh, I was wondering, like, what does the ice cost? Ice? Is it free or charged to a room? Yeah. Or? Well, I mean, Which if one? you're a guest here, it's free to you, yes. Yeah. No, I'm a guest. 
Okay. Okay. Because we're trying yeah. to fill the tub up, and it, like, the machine just will make that, like, like it's trying to dispense ice, but oh, no ice is coming okay. out, and it's only, like, halfway full. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me see if I can fix it. I didn't realize anybody was trying to get in there. Well, I, I think it's, like, out of ice. Like, I... Is there a way to make well, it make ice faster? <laughs> no. No, it it's working. It's just actually oh, wow. um so we've been like really slow and when it doesn't get used as much and you know, like the heat's on full blast and stuff, it gets kinda clogged in the dispenser. Do do you know who Jean Claude Van Damme is? No, I don't. Have you seen Universal Soldier? Okay. Um, is this a funny joke or something? Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? I, I, I don't hear you. Wait, what? I don't hear you. What? Okay. No, have you, I'm here. you have you seen Universal Soldier? Sir, um, let me see if I can fix the ice machine, okay? And you can come back no, down. No, no, no. This, uh, this all goes with the ice machine. You know the scene no. in the movie where Jean-Claude Van Damme has to immerse himself in the tub with ice? Well, my husband and I are reenacting that for our anniversary, and we're going to have sex in the tub until all the ice melts. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus University. And my name is Jade. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Hi, yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? I sure can. How can I help you today? Oh, good. Well, I'm here in the car with my family, and we're trying to make reservations for to make the sleep, you know, because we've been having trouble getting people to let us in, and we're a traveling group of carnies. Okay. People get turned off by our carnyism. What day are you looking at coming in? We're looking at tonight, if possible. Just for the one night? Yeah, one night, two days. So two nights, so you'll be checking out on the f- first on Sunday? Right, you haven't heard from us yet, have you? We have not. Okay, because we, we are doing an experiment with the scientist guy from the university. He said maybe we might have already called. It hasn't happened yet, I guess. I have not heard from anyone um, looking right, to make reservations. First contact. Perfect. Let me make sure to note this down in my diary. I am diary. the scientist. Let me put the scientist the on. Scientist. He knows more about this than I do. I'm just a car. Hold on. I gotta... Hold on. My lab coat is bunching up. Hold on. Oh, you ever, ever happen to you where your lab coat gets, like, bunched up under your arm and starts pulling on your underarm here? God, I hate that. Oh, yeah, speaking about the arrow of time. Um, so, see, I've been co-opted by an intergalactic uh, consortium of time cops. Mm-hmm. And what we do is we go around and we look to see if anybody has tried to change the timeline in a way that mm-hmm. benefits them, but maybe not everyone else. Okay. And I have it on good authority that you tried to meddle with the timeline. So now, now don't, don't start getting defensive because uh, we have video of you inserting a butter knife into an electrical outlet and connecting it to a Wii U and it created a rip in the fabric of space-time, mm-hmm. which you then entered. Gotcha. Um, and then you, pl- then you placed bets on a certain sports team and won money maybe you shouldn't have. Gotcha. So I'm going to send one of our enforcement, time enforcement people over there. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to ask you for the book with all the sports scores in it and any monies you may have gotten illicitly through your time travel activity. 
Perfect. I can actually just send it to you guys. Do you guys have a name and address I could send it to? Well, we're kind of floating through space and time, so you're not really getting what's going on here. But if you know, maybe it'll get to us. If can you uh, do post office box T E D, the Time Enforcement Division. And who can I um, put on for a name for the post office for it to be sent to besides the company? Um, Vice Admiral Zahn. Okay, perfect. I'll get it sent over to you guys ASAP. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Thanks for calling oh, Lakeinta and Moscow. Instead of half I'm sorry, who is this? Lakeinta and Moscow. This is Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Um, wow, I actually didn't think this was going to work. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Is the connection all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Dakota, I need you to listen very carefully. On September 11th, 2001, there's going to be the largest terrorist attack that you, the United States has ever experienced. Okay? I need you to warn people, to get the word out there. It's going to change the trajectory of the United States in the 21st century. I wasn't sure this was going to work, but I've actually opened a distortion in space-time that I'm calling you through right now. I'm calling you from the year 2050. For me, this is the past, but it's your future. You understand, Dakota? Could have saved the world. Hello, thank you for calling the budget server. How may I help you? Is this what? Is this a budget saver? Yes, sir. Are you a convenience store? No, sir. A motel. Oh. Okay. Do you have like a? Do you have like one of those little sundry stores inside where you can buy a toothpaste, a comb, a sh razors, uh, you know, all that stuff? No, sir. Sorry. There is a convenience oh. store right behind us that has. Okay, because what? Ha that has. Yeah, you know, what happened was I was cooking so, in my room. I was using a hot plate. Uh, which room are you and, in? And uh, 215. 215? Yeah. Um, sorry, sir, but you're not... I don't know, though. It's blurry. And then, what'd you say? You're not supposed to be using any hot plates in the room. Oh. Well, tell, how him, else? tell him I'm peeing directly into the bleach that we put in the toilet. Tell him I'm peeing on I'm putting the, I'm putting the ammonia in with the piss. So, okay, there's several things going on, but one... So, do you ever, like try to clean the toilet and you're like midway through cleaning it and then someone in the household comes by and soils it, you haven't even got to the point of scrubbing with the brush yet? Well, that's what's going on here. Like, I just put the cleaner in the toilet and I was about to scrub and this jerk roommate of mine just pissed in there. And you need a toilet so brush. This is how I clean the toilet. I piss the stains off the side. I got high pressure urethra. Yeah, he's not like Hank Hill who has a narrow urethra. I'm sorry. Um, I. Yeah, I mean, at one point we measured the psi of his piss, and it was like 200 psi. Yes. I piss out of my ass. He <laughs> go. He thinks so. He's going to pick the phone back up, but we're still going to be there. <laughs> X was in the toilet room. Yeah. <laughs> Cooking with candles. It is 315 better than a cuisine. hot plate. 315 Cuisine. Hi. Hello. 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 What's the special? <laughs> All sorts of specials. Who's calling? Cheyenne? My name is Ed. Yes. I see Cheyenne on our caller ID. Oh, that's where I'm calling. That's where my cell phone carrier is out of, yes. 
Interesting. So you guys want to know what our specials are? Yeah. Okay. One moment. I'm going to put you on hold. We're a bunch. We're a bunch of ugly gelatinous motherfuckers, and we want to know what to eat. How many Thanks for calling Quality in. Hello. Hi, we're compiling generations in one of your rooms. Yeah, um, there's a Star Trek generations, and um, we're about to expose his wife to Deep Space Nine. I thought it was six. I thought it was no, six. no, it's nine. It's the BBC. Hello. Hi, this is Christy. I got a missed call from your number. Who is this? Chrissy of Barsala, sir. I don't understand who you're calling. Well, I got a missed call from your number. Yeah, but what do you want from me? I'm just returning. Were you looking to book a unit? We are a hotel. You need me to tell you Merry Christmas? Of course not. Christmas is over. How I'm do I know if you? you? Need assistance in booking. How do I'm I know you? you need a you don't. How do I'm I know you? I'm a representative of the company. All right, sir. Thank you. I don't know you. There we go. Cordelian Super 8, how can I help you? Hi. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi there. Hi. How can I help you? I'm, I just want to let you, I'm going to let you know what I'm going to do ahead of time so I can't be in trouble for it, okay? Because I told you first. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you get phone calls about some a man, a grown man, a hairy man dressed in a diaper walking around saying he's baby New Year, that's me. So just tell, just yeah, I can't get in trouble for it now because I warned you ahead of time. Are you one of my guests? Yeah, and I've been drinking and I'm just waiting for it to kick in. And I've got a diaper and I've got a big one of those big clothes pins, like a safety pin to close the front up, so no no genitals will be showing. So okay. I'm gonna is, is this I'm Ryan? Gonna, I'm gonna walk around and not. Fuck! How'd you know? <laughs> because you've been the most interesting uh, guest I've had all all evening, so that's just kind of where I went. Yeah, first. yeah, but, but but I've got I've got this whole bag of shenanigans, like you know, Carrot Top, okay. how he has all these props. Well, that's what I do, yeah. and I'm gonna put this diaper on, yeah. Okay, and you're just going to... Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to... Yeah, but I'm going to walk around and I'm going to bang on people's doors and yell, Happy New Year. Okay. Uh, doors here uh, at the hotel? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to bang I'm gonna bang on stuff and then when they open their doors, I'm going to throw confetti in their face. I don't know if it... I don't know like if that one, like, like, the, like, like that one... Like that one... Like that one comedian, the gay one. I forget his name right now. He was real popular I, I, I with the know, Asians but... and, the, and, the, and the Koreans, but he's dead now, and I can't oh. remember his name for our gosh darn. He was in Wayne's World too. He was going to be at Wayne Stop. Oh, that's a good. And, that's and a I, good, uh, good movie. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, but, but, I, I yeah, don't I'm know gonna, that I'm I can allow you to come and bang on people's doors, though. I, I don't think yeah, my but boss I'm gonna, would be very I'm happy play the next the, morning. But I'm going to play the Three's Company. Uh, uh, it's Rip, T- Rip, T- T- was it Rip Taylor, Rip T- Taylor, Tyler, something like that. Rip, that's his name. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play the Come On Knock On Our Door, the Three's Company song while I do it. Come On Knock On Our Door, we'll be waiting for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love oh, this you idea. Must be an old, I just you really be, don't want to get yelled at my you must, be, you, you must be an old bitch if you know that theme song. I'm only 28, but I've, I'm cultured. But, oh my uh, God! How do you know? How do you know you're cultured? Oh my! Oh my shit! You want to come with me? I've got an extra diaper. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to politely decline. I've got powder. I've got the powder. Neither of us will have rashes. I believe you. I just, uh, yeah, I don't. I, my boss would not be very happy with me if. Uh, and if we and had just in case, I got that stuff about. that they have for babies called butt paste. I got some of that too. It, it is very useful. Um, have you yeah, used it before? I, Do you have children? Yeah, I, 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 my daughter. How many times has have eggs come out of your tubes? I don't know. 
Well, like, well, okay, how many times have Since AIDS come out, out of your tubes and been, and been, and been uh, ejecting a child? I guess is more of what I was saying. Just once? Just once. Just once. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you're slacking. We need to populate the world, you and your... Is your Hell husband? No, I got my tubes tied right after yeah. her. I ain't doing that. I'm I'm not doing the whole child. By a professional, by a profession, by a professional doctor. Of course. Okay, because I don't I don't mind telling you I don't mind raising another man's child. <laughs> Ryan, I'm sorry. I we're uh we're not gonna do the diaper thing, okay? If you're gonna do that, can't do it in here. I, well, I don't I, want. I know we are, not but I I still am. I I still am. No. I, if if you're not going to help me here, if you're not going to do it, I, I can stop. I can kick you out, dude. Like, I, I don't want to cause no. trouble. I want this to be a good time for everybody. I have a reservation. Everybody. I have a reservation. That's, you can't kick me out. That doesn't, that doesn't matter, dude. I'm sorry. But and this, this is New can. Year's. I'm horny, hungry, and ready to spread cheer. I'm putting the diaper on. I'll you put can put that diaper on, but I, I can go ahead and, like, if you show up in the diaper, I might call police, just so you know. I'm o- I'm opening the door. I'm turning the handle. <sighs> the door is open. I'm opening it. It's open mm-hmm. six inches. I'm going to go right. ahead and uh, hang up the phone now. Yeah. So. No, I'm going to open. You hang up the phone, I'm opening the door all the way. I'm opening the door. If you open the door all the way, then I'm calling the police. The door is coming open. I'm going to squirt myself with baby oil. I like the baby. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus. Cordelaine in. My name is Erin. How can I help you? Your your name is Error? Like your parents made an error? Or Erin. Was that's a guy's name? Okay. What can I do for you? Well, I'm in my room and I can't find. I I brought an oversized like the safety pin. You know the kind like when you're trying to fasten stuff. Okay. I brought one and it's missing, and I need it to fasten my baby New Year diaper so I can go walk around. All right. And I'm not really sure what I can do, do have for any, you. Do you have any small ones? Um, safety pin, safety, small safety pins or a stapler? Well, I have a stapler, but I can transfer you to housekeeping and they might have something. But uh, housekeeping isn't here this late. I've tried calling before because I soiled things. I'm pretty sure they're here today. No, no, no. Listen, I'm going to come get the staple. I'm going to come in my diaper, and you need to staple this thing shut. I'm not stapling so I don't anything. Get in, I don't want to get in trouble, so you got to staple well, it Well, I don't so have I don't to do that, actually. Ass. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't I want my have ass and genitals being shown. Then maybe Listen, don't wear that. Listen, it's a part of the American with Disability. Listen, it's a part of the ADA, American Disability Association. you got to accommodate me. I actually ass. don't have to do that, so... You, too, because I have a severe limp. I fell one time. Okay, that's It's a great. reasonable accommodation. It's not yeah. very reasonable to be touching somebody. You're going to touch my diaper, and just you, what you're going to do is you're going to staple it shut. But I also have a right as a person to say no. No, you don't, because you're you you're you serve me right now. You're Sir, the, I would rather the, quit than help arbiter. you. Well, you're a bitch. Bye. Send up, send up the second in charge. Hot damn. <laughs> it's a beautiful day at the Comfort Inn Suites. Main Stay Suites. Cordelaine, this is Christina. Who am I speaking with today? Um, hello? Hi, this is hello? Christina. Who am I speaking with today? Hi. Hello? How are you? Hi. Good. How can I help you? So, sorry, I'm talking through a uh, translate. I have a hearing problem, and somebody's relaying the messages to me. You're fine. How can I help you tonight? Uh, I need 
Did the guy doing sign language says that you you said you can't help me because I'm deaf? No, that is not what I said. Not what I said. Okay, what did you say? Maybe something got lost in translation. I asked, how can I help you tonight? She asked for your credit card number. I No, I did that online with my reservation. Do you need it again? No, I need your name. I'm asking, how can I help you? She's asking, how can she help you and your name? My my name is Dwight, and the uh, um, air in my room is very cold. What room are you in? Go, are you in the bathroom? No, I'm not in the bathroom. I'm with the, where the bed is. What room are you in? What room are you in? Like the number of the room, question mark? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, two, one, five. Did she hang up? Give me one second. Nope. Give me one second to look. One second to look. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean she's speaking Chinese now? Do you do you know how to sign Chinese? No, I'm not speaking Chinese. I just need one second. So I can pull up the room that you're in. She only speaks Chinese, but you said English a second. You signed English. I don't I don't speak Chinese. Okay, so are you in the Comfort Inn in Coeur d'Alene? Because I don't have anybody in room 215. Order number 215 General Sao. No, I didn't order Chinese food. I don't I don't no, I'm trying no, to no, no, no. the person no. at the desk. Yes, I'm right here, but I do not Is she speaking Mandarin or Cantonese? You're speaking to Christina. I am at the front desk. Cantonese. I am telling you I don't have a room to 215. Um, maybe, hang on, I'm going to put translator on phone to talk. I will sign to him. I will, okay. I will put, uh, his, uh, his name, Ted. Okay, go ahead and put Ted on. Hello. Hi, this is Christina at the front desk. How can I help you? Hello. I'm taking over. Okay, we have established a connection. Hello. Who is this? This is Christina. How can I help you? Hello, Christina. I have a client on the phone here that is signing to me. They are deaf. Christina, would you like to go out on a date? No, thank you. Christina, do you have a room? I have plenty of rooms available here. How can I help you? Christina, I need a room. Okay, and would it be for tonight? Would it be for tonight? Yes, it would be for tonight. Okay. Would you like me to make a reservation for you? 
Yes, Christina, how big are your... I'm omitting the word. Okay, if you're not going to book a room, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to disconnect this call. He is signing, but his hand signs have a strong accent. I'm having a hard time. Room yeah, for well, me the inappropriate questions bed. I do not appreciate. We have censored the inappropriate questions for your benefit. Yeah, and this phone call me, is making me this a little a on... phone call. I am just a translator. And I understand that, but I don't appreciate the questions that I'm being asked. Let me forward this to the head moderator. Hold on. Ask ask her if she knows what honk honk what that motion means. Sir, I am honk disconnecting honk. this call now. Honk no, honk. don't do it. Hmm? Thank you for calling Staber Suites Court Lane. This is Braden. How may I direct your call? Braden, I'm in the room. We're breaking things in here. I, I sat on the bed and I think it snapped in two and my son's been jumping on the other one. I'm afraid he's fat too. We're having a trouble in here, and I don't know what to do. Braden, can you I'm not with that. Which room are you in? I'm not fat. We're in the obscene jester room. We're gestrating I'm in bed. I'm not fat, motherfucker. I'm fucking scared of all this. Work like the other one? No. Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn and Suites in Coeur d'Alene. This is Annika. How can I help you? Annika? Yeah. Amy. I, what's Hi. all that noise in the background? I don't know. There's there's a couple families that are in the lobby. That might be what's going on. Oh, okay. Do you guys have, like, a really good breakfast there? We have. It's a hot continental buffet-style breakfast. It changes a little bit every day, so I'm not exactly too sure what it's going to be each day, but we always have, like, waffles and oatmeal, cold cereal, muffins, bagels, juice. There's usually some sort of egg, some sort of protein. you got options. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm I'm with a couple people who are thinking about staying there. Exactly which continent is the breakfast from? I couldn't tell you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say from here. Here. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't I don't know what continent. <laughs> Is it I don't know, do you ever see those like TikToks where they ask people like to name two states and then they'll be like oh like Houston and San Francisco or something like that? Kind of right, yeah. <laughs> So it'll be like a South American breakfast then? Is that what you're saying? I'd say maybe like North American breakfast. Like Waffle House? I, uh, comparatively, maybe, yeah. Will there be like arguments and fighting like there are at several Waffle Houses? Because that would make like a authentic experience. Right. Maybe if you're lucky. I mean, the cards are in your favor here. I mean, I could plant the seeds of a conflict. Right. I could do that. Like, like I could, you know, pour hot coffee all over somebody's lap or... Um, yeah, just something. I could, or I could put, like, way too much pepper on somebody's eggs. Like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> put pepper all over my eggs. Yeah. And then they just start swinging indiscriminately, you know, maybe they'll knock a like senior citizen in the jaw and that'll get like somebody else upset and they'll be like, Hey, what are you doing attacking old people? And then it'll just become like the biggest brawl ever. Yeah, it'd be a good way to end twenty twenty two. For real. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking I'm looking for a way to to, to close the year outright. Yeah. I'm thinking well, that's, a that's definitely continental an option. <laughs> breakfast. I'm thinking <laughs> A continental breakfast brawl would be the way to send the toilet that has been 2022 off. Yeah, just start fresh. (laughs) 
Yeah, I think yeah, I think I'll I'll uh, you know I'll stay there then because um, thinking of thinking brawl is the way to go. Right. Let's see, is it going to be for tonight? Yeah. Um, I'm. What is your policy on hot plates? Because I was thinking about you know maybe having four to six hot plates in the room because we just like to make that popcorn that's you know, in the foil that you put on the stove. And right. uh, we can just pop- have them like popcorn. Yeah, just have that popcorn going constantly. Yeah, I think I think maybe one hot plate would be good, but four might be kind of pushing it. We also have a waffle maker. Um, we make blue waffles. Um, we don't necessarily put blueberries in them to make them blue. But, um, it's a little family secret recipe. Gotcha, gotcha. And then you're probably asking, well, if you've got hot plates and you've got a waffle iron, why are you so concerned about the breakfast? And that would be a really good question, um, which I'm not going to answer. But I will you're more tell there you for the that brawl. the hot plates that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So, I mean, if each waffle iron hot plate, you know, uses like 1,600 watts, is that going to be okay? I, I don't know. I don't know too much about the wattage of the hotel. There's only one way to find out, really. Hmm. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What if what if I like throw all the breakers doing it though, and, the, and then they thrust the entire hotel into darkness, and all the people are like, and then they hear a scream, and then they're like, oh no, and then the lights come back on, and then the butler's dead, and everyone's like, oh my god, who done it? Right. Well, if you do it right around breakfast time, that'd be the perfect tipping point for your breakfast brawl. See, I think we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah I, think I gotcha. We really can work together. Yeah. Yeah. What if we like extended the conflict? You know, like starts with a breakfast brawl, but then it sort of expands out from the hotel and encompasses all the surrounding neighborhoods and businesses. Like that. Mm. That would be like an achievement. Yeah, that definitely be a way to end the year. I mean, some people are just looking for a fight. You know. You ever talk to people totally. and they're like, "Oh, I wish a mother, I wish a motherfucker would," you know, mm-hmm. like they're mm-hmm. just looking for an excuse. Right. Yeah. See, I, I can hear the seeds of the seeds of discontent are being sown. Like I hear all that talking in the background. People are like, "Damn, why do I got to bring my kids with me on vacation? Now all I'm doing is whining and complaining. I'm supposed to yep. be resting up because I got to go back to work next week." But I'm going to be tired. I'm going to need a vacation from my vacation. Totally. I think that's what's happening. So are you like an anarchist then? Like, would you would you enjoy seeing a brawl? Like, just sort of the, you know, disassembling of social order and, and, and laws, like total lawlessness? You know, like those people who tint their car windows so dark you can't see in the car, like that kind of lawlessness. I mean, it'd definitely be an interesting sight to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously not in the middle of it, but... Right. Like, I might take drone footage like you would of, like, a zombie apocalypse. I'd probably do that. Well, yeah, if the situation arises, obviously you have to get video of it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. See, now I'm getting ideas like to like add to the scene. Maybe like we could set a dumpster on fire like outside the hotel, and then like all the hordes of angry continental breakfast people will be like, "Oh, what's that fire out there?" And then they'll go out there, and then the drone will be like filming people swarming around like a dumpster that's on fire, and then that, and then we could like hang a sign on the dumpster that says 2022. F you, and then that'll be it. That'll be the end. Yeah, good way to end the year. You could pop your Jiffy Pop on the dumpster fire, call it a day. 
Yeah, see, I'm, I'm good to go then. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we could we could save the like survival of the fittest to 2023 when the recession hits. Then, right. like you know, then it'll be like whoever makes it, you know, like king of the hill kind of. Mm-hmm. Like the person who makes it to the top of the hill gets to eat the continental breakfast. Rest of the people, no breakfast. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. So what else is going on there? That's about it. It's pretty quiet here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. No uh, angry Southwest Airlines customers? Not not mad at me, no. Oh, we're receiving an incoming communication. Yes, the uh, communication says, uh, it said, eat my pussy. Hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting communication. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Those people sound like they're enjoying themselves, and that bothers me. You're telling me. Like I was at a, I was at a restaurant today, and the lady was like, "I was like, oh, do you guys serve coffee here?" And she's like, "Yeah, but she's like, if I sell you, if I put coffee on your bill, you better go and get it really quick because some people all they do is they come here and they drink coffee." But she was angry about it. And then when I went to go get coffee, there were, like, people standing around waiting for coffee. And she's like, hey, it takes time to brew coffee. Sit down. Right. You ever feel like that at your job? Like, just want to tell the customer, you know, like, hey, look, I've got 15 pieces of flair. You know, that's enough. Yeah. Did your boss ever count your flair, like, how many buttons and pins you have on your suspenders? Not necessarily. Like, how would you feel if they made you wear a pin that says, ask me about how my day was, or, you know, your day is looking up, or, you know, these, like, really annoying things that people might put on the wall of their kitchen? Yeah, I we used to have a button I had to wear that said, making you happy makes us happy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. This is Dwight. He's the. Uh... Yeah, I've just been listening the whole time. I just. I just okay. He's an international. He's the. I've been, uh... I've been practicing because my wife tells me I don't listen, so I'm, I'm listening. Oh, okay. Seems like you're doing a good job. Yeah. Well, the one time I told my I told I told my my wife's friend there I it was. It wasn't really my fault. It was Christmas Eve party. I told her that I wanted to scramble her eggs, and they took it as a sexual thing, and now I, I just get to listen. I don't talk anymore. Right. I could see that. Hmm. But, I mean, in my defense, I did have a whisk and a carton of eggs. I don't know why they took it that way. I was I was making omelets. Mm, gotcha. Continental. Continental yeah, omelets. Continental. Yeah, continental. Right. Hey, can I, you know what, I, I wanted to ask her something. You, you know what the breakfast, the breakfast we were talking about, the continental breakfast? Mm-hmm. What, 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 uh, what could I eat at your breakfast that would, uh, that would offend a minority group? What could I eat? I mean, that's kind of up to you. Everything's pretty safe here. Well, like if I wanted to, like just any minority group, it doesn't have to be a specific one. But what do you, mm-hmm. what do you got that I could offend somebody? I, I don't think we have anything that would fit that roster. A rooster? I mean, that might be something offensive to Hispanics. I mean, I suppose I could eat someone's rooster. Maybe. Okay, my other line is ringing, so I'm gonna have to let you go. I bet it is. I bet it is. Okay. Well, you guys have a good night. Bye. Um, Bye, honey, baby. Hi, Mom. Quality this is Brittany. How can I help you? Hi, Brittany. I'm driving. I'm getting sleepy. Do you have any rooms available for tonight? Yes, we do. Oh, good. Good. I've I've pulled off the highway, so I'm I'm parked, and uh, I have my kids with me here. 
they can make the room booking because I'm I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, here here you go, guys. You make the room booking for Daddy. Oh, hello, ma'am. Yes. My my dad he had a he had a needle and it had brown liquid in it and now he's sleeping and we need a reservation. <laughs> sure, you're not calling back. Not, how can I help you? Hello. Wow. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. 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 That's Hi. the only word he knows. Hi. I wanted to say Hi. a little more than just oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hi. Just a plus. This is not how can I help you? Hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I need to make a room booking. Okay. You got the one with the tubes? With the what? The tube. Like you lie down the tube and it takes you to the moon. The moon tubes. Yeah, moon tubes. Really, the windows are left. Hello? Sure, stay past. This is not how can I help you? Hi, I need to rake a room booking. I need to rake the room. Uh, rake? Rake? There's a rake in my room. That I need to bring in. I I I clean the leaves off the cars and I rake the leaves. That's about all I was looking for, honestly. Liberty Lake Lane and Suites, how can I help you? Fuck. Hello? Hi, this Hello? is Liberty Lake Lane and Suites, how can I help you? Hi, can can I book a room, please? Yeah, we should be able to do that. What night are you looking to book for? Uh, I want to book for the first. Gotcha. Just one second here. All right, January 1st. And then how many nights are you looking to stay? Just one night. How big is the bathtub? Uh... It would depend. The rooms with standard bathtubs, it's going to be pretty normal. They're not uh, very, they're not like, I wouldn't say large, but they're not super small either. We do have rooms that have Jacuzzi Whirlpool bathtubs in them, though. But, but like, would they be able to hold a a full-size adult male, a full-size adult man? Uh, They should. Uh, like the whirlpool ones, yes, for sure. The other ones, they should in theory. Uh, it just depends on the size of the person. Okay, because I'm I'm bringing my equipment. I'm going to live stream from the from the room. How many how many can how many cans of spaghettios will the bathtub hold? Oh, you're not going to let me do that. Someone cross it. You don't Thank you for to. calling Best House in Liberty Lake. This is Nathan. How can I help you? Hey, hey Nathan. Uh, can you warn other guests to watch their step when they go through the hallway? Sure. Okay. What's I'm, the I'm the just. I don't want them to trip. I, well, there's. I put strings in the hallway. I'm trying to do some oh, mathematical sh- measurements in my ro- in my room, and I have. You know how they do those string charts. Um, where you have like one thumbtack and you tie a string and you you're kind of trying to loop everything together. Yes. Well, I ran out I ran out of wall space and so I moved part of it into the hallway. So there's strings in the hallway and if they trip over, that's just gonna mess everything up. All right, which floor are you on? I'm in the second floor. Second and floor. They just okay. they just need to watch they just need to watch their step is all I'm saying because I don't want some real right. Home Alone shit to end up happening. No worries, I'll let people know. Okay, because I've been working on this for like three days straight now. And if they mess it up, I'm going to have to start all over again. I'm not paying for any more time in this room, is what I'm saying. All right, there no was worries. one time payment. There will, there, will not, there will not be another. Sounds good. Have a good night. Uh, well, you were going to warn them, right? Yes, I will. 
All right, war- warn them. Let me hear you warn them. Yeah, but- yell now. Yell, yell now. Now yell. Yell now. There's nobody around to yell. Anybody I hear people in the, in the background yell. All right, we'll transmit you to that's, a room. That's the music. Okay, well, transmit me to a room. I got to talk. I got to spread the word. Give, get me to 211. One second. That's not 211 at all. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? I don't understand who you're calling. Uh, you guys called um, requesting a room. Do you yeah, but what do you want from me? Why would you prank call me? You need me to tell you Merry Christmas? Thank you for calling. I'm tuning in to see you in Spokane Valley. This is Larissa speaking. How may I help you? Hello? 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 Is this the tuna is this the tuna tuna sweets? Is this the tuna sweets? So this is the ham tuna and tuna sweets. sweets. Yeah, tuna? Tuna sweets? No. My room but that's why I'm saying that because my room smells like tuna. It smells like hot tuna in here. Oh, so you are staying with us. Yeah, yeah, but I it smells like literally somebody opened up a can. Okay, uh, what's the room number, sir? And then I'm in 215, and they put it on the heater, and it's been here for three days. It smells like the tuna sweets. You said 215? Yeah. I don't have anybody in 215. So I don't have anybody in that room? Okay, but so I, that's nobody. where I put my cat. My cat. My cat's in 215. Okay, sir, I don't understand. This is the Hampton Inn and Suites, and that's I do what not I'm, have anybody. What yes, 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 yes. And I said I put my cat, because the door is open, I put my cat in 215, and it's in the, quote-unquote, the tuna suite, because I opened up the can of tuna, and I put it in there for my cat. And now I can't find my cat, and there's a big hole in the wall, and I think my cat's in the wall. So sorry about that, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I can't help you with that. And, um, yeah. So we need a key. We need someone to come help. If somebody can get a couple of birds and meet me in the tuna suite. She also likes tuna. Corey Baguette. speaking. How can I help tuna you? Tuna bread. Guess why does this person named Corey, Corey sound, sound like a... Why does this man named Corey sound like a woman? Hello? I am... Hello? Hi, sir. Why do you Corey. why do you sound why do you sound like a woman? I am a woman. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not playing your liberal games. Do you want to be a man or a woman? Just let me know now, so I know how to continue this conversation. Excuse me. I'm a woman. Okay, but I was down there earlier and I saw the Adam's apple. That's why I'm saying it. I'm like, like, if you want to play the games, I'll play the game. But come on. Excuse me? Yeah, I saw I saw that big bump protruding from your throat called the Adam's apple. You're not going to fake me out. Like, you okay, can say that you're stop, a woman all you please want. Please stop. Have a lovely rest of your day. Hello. We're calling Motel 6 Spokane East. This is Davis. How can I help you? Hello. My name is Jill Rosenthal, and I would like to stay at your hotel. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a smoking area, smoking rooms available? No. Or the Motel 6 downtown does. Oh, dear, because I smoke 2,000 cigarettes a week. And uh, uh, I don't, yeah, I'm a, I like to have it with a shot of bourbon. That sounds awesome. Would you like to smoke with me behind the hotel gear? No, thank you. I was uh, quite a looker in my time, and, uh, you know, I... Rolling in, sweet. 
Oh, hi. Hey, oh, yeah, you hear this guy? He sounds real nice like he's yeah. got feet. You think he has a Ben? Yeah, I Hello? have a Ben Chode. Hi, hi, do you have Ben Chode? Which one? Ben Chode. Ben Chode. I am not sure. Uh, ben Chod is like uh, somebody name or what? Yeah, yeah, and uh, he's staying with Terry Maki Chute. Hello, asshole. Brother, is he still there? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> oh, ben Chode is somebody's name? Thanks for calling the downtown Spokane Lake Quinta. This is Halani. I'm sorry that you have that name. Hello? Hawani, Key Largo, Montego. Baby, why don't we go to Jamaica off the Florida Keys? Do you have a friend called Kokomo? Because no. that's where we want to go to get away from it all. Do you suppose they call her Kokomo because that's the color her skin resembles? <laughs> oh. Why you say that, bruh? What up, bruh? Hello, we're we're sexual deviants traveling, and we're we're looking to have sex with all ethnicities before we die. What ethnicity are you? Let me see if we have it on our checklist. Weed. Best Western yeah. Plus, this is Kevin. Can I help you? No, put the weed away. He's on the phone. Hello. Okay, sorry. Hello. We need Wait, an ash, we need an ashtray. Yeah, we we need an ashtray for the room. <laughs> yep. We don't we don't do that. We can't smoke. In you don't the do rooms. what? We're not smoking cigarettes. That's disgusting. I yeah, agree. we smoke cigars and pipes. Yeah. yeah. He smoke he smokes yeah. uh, jazz musicians or uh, devil's cabbage, if you will. And oh. Uh, I yeah. smoke I smoke uh, heroin. Really? Yeah, he smokes all the heroin. Yeah. Well, you see, he started me out on marijuana as a gateway drug, and let me oh, tell yeah. you, it, is, it yeah. is a gateway drug. Well, You're see, the first like heroin, a, like the first cat. heroin, yeah, the first heroin I smoked was Xena Warrior Princess. I see, beat he, her ass. Yeah, and he then, convinced me that really? it was in the Bible. He said, let let he who, who injects the first needle cast not the first whatever, and the, by that time I was already blacked out with fentanyl. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. biblical. Then I smoked. You know? Then I smoked Shira. She was like, "Oh, you know, gets on her, her her unicorn thing or whatever." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And I just swatted her out of the sky. Yeah, he was like, he was like baby, baby, baby. But I was out cold. I didn't. I didn't remember him saying that. Well, that's what makes it so believable. See, I thought you were just blowing smoke. Hey, sure, hey don't. Hey, listen. Don't be fucking stupid. Okay, we're trying to tell you what's going on in this room, and you're being ignorant. Oh, listen to me, Jack. Yeah, we're Mike. trying to give you better come down here. Why? No, Why? no, you, no. You, you want to get injected? I don't have extra. You didn't put in on this, man. Smoke. <laughs> I never pay for drugs. Well, you You're suck freak. dick for drugs. <laughs> do you? Hey, do you trade cheese wait a minute. for drugs. Just because it's the holiday up. season, you know. Oh. Doesn't mean that people have been smoking dick for drugs. But during the it's holiday all, season, it's, holiday, it's not uncommon it's that they do give, you know, they give things during the holiday season. Sometimes well, you they know give what? Just because, blowjobs. Just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean I won't verbally abuse you on this telephone machine, this fucking fancy computer I have in my hand. Yeah. Ooh. Give it to me big time. What do you got? Verbally abuse me. Do you have a Christmas tree? Do you have a Christmas tree in the lobby there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how? Yeah, do you Actually, have those fentanyl candy canes on there? I got a calculator uh, no. on this computer, tele- on this computer oh. telephone, and I will no, add the- numbers. I will add numbers. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. 
Ask ask me ask me a computer question. I'll put, I'll type it into my computer telephone. I put fentanyl in Santa's cookies. You did. Fentanyl. Yeah. Put fat fentanyl likes a good time. Fat you can't trust yeah. that fentanyl anymore. You can't trust. Why? It. What's what's better? China. Because they're pressing it up down in Mexico, and if you get two grains of fentanyl, you're dead. Instead of one grain. Oh, uh, listen, listen, listen. He, he listened to him. He listens to Fox News. Listen to him. He's up on all the news. Oh, oh he's going to tell about drugs. Oh, he's going to be like, oh, oh, you oh, oh the people come to the mm-hmm. oh, oh. Uh Don't get him from Hector down the street. He'll fuck your ass up. Well, you, you're prescribed fentanyl. Hector's That's cool. still swinging. I thought he was in uh, house. Yeah. No. All right. Well, guys, can I help you tonight? Did you, did you just take a shit? Did you just take a shit? He's in housekeeping, but I don't know. Maybe. He might actually, might actually work there. What time is it? Nine three zero. You coming in tonight? You gonna get a room? Yeah. What's your grinder username? I don't have one. Do you have any rooms with? I don't, I'm, do I'm, any I'm rooms not on Grinder. Do you have any rooms with hot plates? No, and we're not supposed to let uh, the people use them. Hot plates are dangerous; it can cause fire. Oh, see, it's, yeah, he says no people. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed and to make my own continental breakfast? Because you cheap bastards don't offer free continental breakfast. Yeah, is that true? Yeah, and why, and why is there no bad? But con- why is there no continental bad doesn't food? refer to a full what? breakfast. Continental refers to like breads and cereals and fruit, and we have a full breakfast. And we call it a hot breakfast. It's both hot and cold items. Let me put you on hold. I need you to get hot breakfast. You got hot breakfast. Be sure to sign up for our Best Western Rewards Program. I just learned we something about continental breakfast. Maybe it's not hot enough for me and Mad went out to the fucking grill and used the side burner. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling guest services. This is Ben. How can I help you? Hey, Ben, how do you ventilate the room? I brought my grill up here into the room and there's smoke. What? Uh, what? I brought the grill up here. I'm trying to cook some meats. And my friend's using the Please side burner to try to heat up. So- no, no, we're trying to make some ice cream on the side burner. Uh, I he's got to get it, he's got to get it hot for he's got to get it hot first before we cool it and make the ice cream. <laughs> I, yeah, I very much hope pot. that you're kidding. Why? But you don't have anything. You don't have any hot plates. You don't have an induction burners up here. You don't even have a bathroom toaster. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, well, I definitely it's don't. Really difficult. I don't. I don't want anybody starting any uh, anything that's causing smoke in the hotel because I don't want the uh, the alarms to go off, which will. Uh, uh, caused me to have to vacate the entire hotel. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! No, no! We're using a George Foreman grill. Yeah, we're uh, using uh, so smokeless grills. Y- yeah, you, you should be able to like open your window. Ash 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 you should be able to open your window at least a little bit. Okay, hey, throw that brick through the window. Let's open this window up. All right, I got it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. It's a big brick. It takes both of us. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. All right. All right. Can't lift it. It's too heavy. Higher. Got are, are you carrying your end, too? What, what the hey, fuck is the, going on? The ice cream is boiling over. So, uh... Hello? Which, which room are you guys in? The ice boiled over. One, two, fifteen. All right. Hang on. Pick up your pick up your end. I'm, all right, all right, I got I'm, it. All right, all right, fucking one, two, three, and we heave ho. Okay, one, two. Oh my god, three. Did you see that? There's a mouse. Okay. There's a dude. There's a mouse. Look, where that mouse? Where that mouse come from? He like that? jumped in the ice in the in the boiling ice cream and jumped out really quick. Is that, that fucking mouse was in that movie Ratatouille? No, this one doesn't know how to cook. Uh, oh. All right, gentlemen. Uh, you have a good night. Sounds like you got that all handled. All right, sexy. Ice cream. All right, bear less. We'll talk to you later. Ice cream. <laughs> Guys.
Scraps from the kitchen. Thank you for calling the Steam Plant Hotel. This is the front desk. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing there, bud? Um, do you guys have any flowers or rice, uh, uncooked rice, prefer- uh, preferably? Are you trying to reach the Steam Plant Grill? This is the Steam Plant Hotel. No, no, the hotel. I'm upstairs. Um, I'm an ordained uh, minister, and I'm up here trying to marry two gay dogs, and we need some rice to toss about after I finish the ceremony. Yeah, I don't have any rice. Okay, do you have anything that can be tossed easily without harm? What about scissors? Not that I'm aware of, no. Sorry, what was the last part? Scissors? 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 Yeah. Of course I have scissors. Feel free to come on down and snag them if you like. How about about an abundance of paper? I don't want to give you a few sheets of paper if you 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 like. No, if you if you got if you got the cutty paper, I don't want that. I just want some paper I can toss in the air and, and not get cut by. I don't think I have what you're looking for, unfortunately. I do apologize. Do you have, do you have a any hot plates do, do you have any hot plates there that we can use in the room? I do not have any hot plates, no. Oh, because we're using this uh propane stove and it's just not working in right in the room. And yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you're allowed to use propane stoves in the room. Does it have a flame at all, or is it anything like that? It's not what Hank. Not what Hank. It's not what Hank said. Hank said that propane I don't know who was Hank the is. cleanest burning. Well, you don't. Oh, you must think Hank you're funny. Heat. That's crazy. Yeah, as it got you, you fucking idiot. Yeah, hilarious. I'm gonna fucking roll a blunt on your world. mom's butt. I'm going to roll a blunt on your mom's butt. Good evening, Davenport Hotel's operator. This is Holly on my direct your call. Hi, do you have any more firewood? I'm actually not too certain. Was uh, For the historic Davenport, uh, were you wanting to know more about that? Or? No, for my room. Oh, okay, tell, sure. Tell are you staying at the her, historic? or Which of our hotels are you tell, staying? Tell her that... Tell her that the hot plate cord, it, it's all frayed and doesn't work anymore. We're going to need some wood to get the well, heat out of the hot plate. Well, okay, so this, you sort of explaining the whole thing. So, like, we were trying to, like, boil some water for pasta in the room, and we were using a hot plate, but then the hot plate cord got snagged okay. on the door, and then okay. it got frayed. Oh, and so okay. we're like, oh, it's not working you. anymore. And then okay. so we started piling wood on top of the dresser and we're going to like make like a campfire kind of situation. Okay. Yeah. Which of our hotels are you staying in? Is it the historic Davenport or the tower? Do you know which one? The tower. Okay. Let me get you over to them. One moment. <laughs> this is not going to deal with any of me. Okay. Front desk, this is Delia. Hi, do you have any more firewood that I can get? Firewood? Yeah, for the room, because we were going to use a hot plate to make pasta, but it's not working. So we were just going to, like, make a little, like, you know, wood stove situation. Um, Give me one moment. Okay, so are you sure you are at the Davenport Hotel? Yeah, so, you know, we had a hot plate in the room, but then the cord got frayed, so he's like, oh, I better not use that. And so uh, we found some... um, like, you know how there's, like, chairs in the room? Well, we broke the legs off the chairs and used those for heat to, like, boil the pasta. But the pasta's, like, not all the way boiled. Oh, and are you so pranking us more. right now? <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, because I would call security on you if that was true. Would you like me to do that? 
Well, we're in room 215, and and um, there's definitely a lot. Are you Thanks pranking us? Mail. How may I help you? Ah, we're hey pranking guys. you. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna prank. We're prank calling you right now. Okay. So so act like you believe everything. All right. <laughs> So okay. we have a we have a hot plate in our room that broke, and so we're using wood to burn uh, and create heat and boil water for pasta. Oh, on um, a scale of one to five, what do you think of that premise? Uh, Need your feedback. I'd say it's about a three. Ah, uh, lukewarm at the pasta. <laughs> Throw him another one. Throw him another one. Yeah. Okay, uh, the stripper pole we installed in the room broke, and we were wondering if you had a handyman available to come repair it. Oh, hell yeah. That one's way better. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I like that one. <laughs> you like strippers? Yeah, no, it actually just seems like something I'd get a call for. <laughs> the, really? The pole, okay. it took the, yeah, it weird took things the, happen uh, at hotels. <laughs> Took the rod out of the closet, took all the hangers off of it, set it up vertically, and it's not quite long enough to reach the ceiling. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that works. How much of the room is each yeah. night? How much, how, much is, how much is a king single? King single. King single. A craft single. See, that would be about 150 a night. Rip off. All right. So that's yeah, like eight days of work for me. Yeah. Well, what if I what if I just wanted to rent like half the room? I won't use I won't uh, use the whole thing. I only want to ah, sleep on half the bed. I'll take a half a long shower. Did that. <laughs> I'll stay. Ha you can stay on the other half of the room to make sure I don't cross the line on the ground and and violate our agreement. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to watch me do everything else. I mean, you just need to you know you can just focus on the line. Yeah, well, I'm in kind of the corner of your eye. Yeah. It won't be weird. <laughs> I'll let you change the channels on the television. You can you can run the remote control. How's that? Oh, I see. That doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> All right. So I'll pay like 30 and you'll pay the other 150. Oh, yeah, sure. That sounds great. That sounds fair. <laughs> cool. And you got the big marshmallows for the for the marshmallow s'mores, right? We got the hot plate. Oh, covered. hell yeah. Hell afraid, yeah! But. Yeah, just need hey, something to stick them on. Ever... <laughs> whoa, 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 friend! No, man, you get the stripper pole, but yeah, you know it's too long, they're too short to be a pole. You can make that into a skewer, sorts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, on a scale of one to five, how is that? That's yeah. I like that. That's like four or five. Yeah. <laughs> Four or five. You're not quite yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, I, I now can you, you guys take come it from up a four to better. <laughs> no, I think you can. I mean, I already got you warmed up. I mean, you can you can drive it home. There's a little ollie oop style <laughs> here. It'd be my Larry Bird. Oh, honestly, if you just throw in something with like hookers or something, that almost anyone will believe it. <laughs> hookers and where's your hotel that you always deal with hookers? Uh, oh, downtown. <laughs> Yeah, are they on speed dial? Practically, you literally could like just walk down the street and yell something, and they'll run up to you. Is so if I put like a code? brochure in the little caddy of brochures in the in the lobby there with like yeah. the girlfriends that I have that might be able to um, help out with your fine establishment, you'd think that would go noticed. Sneak a little extra uh, business. No, oh, no, I think that they would enjoy nice. that. Yes. Yeah. See the local color? Yeah, we'll get the yeah. community involved. Yeah, see? It's a community yeah, outreach program. Yeah. Helping right. small so businesses. Let me get your name on there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What's your name, Corey? Yes. No, that can't be it. A... No, you actually got it. It's Corey. All yeah. right. I'm going to have to play back and make sure you're telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's okay. it for me, Corey. I hope you have a great New Year because I'm sure we'll never meet in real life. Yeah, um, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. 
chiming in. I don't usually do prank okay. calls, but uh, you've been. You know what? I'm I'm actually at half chub right now. This is totally amazing. Yeah. My year. Oh, 22 great. with the bang, yo. I got my mouth yeah. open. No, no, <laughs> not your turn. Not your turn. Dude, you don't get to be baby bird this turn. <laughs> All right, over and out. I got to go rub one out. All right. See ya. Bye, Dad. My sizzle chest. I hope. Thank you for calling Quality in Oakwood. This is Rachel. How may I help you? Hi, uh, has my guy Hello? been out there yet? Has my guy been out there yet? Someone called about a toilet overflowing. Just want to check up on my plumber. I think you have the wrong hotel, wrong phone number. This is a hotel. Yeah, you had a guest uh, that flooded the bathroom or something, and you called emergency plumber. I mean, do you know when? Because I, I haven't called anybody. Yeah, it was about 10 minutes ago. I'm just checking the notes here. It says uh, yeah, no, you have- customer, customer states, tenant, flushed, large, action figure, down toilet. Uh, water will not go down. Water is spilling out from toilet. Uh, hip waiter. Do you have a note of who called? I, it just says the that your hotel did. It just says, uh, yeah. Did you take the phone call or somebody else? Because oh, I don't have any record of us calling. Yeah, I don't. I didn't so I just take don't the know call. If one of my- uh, someone else here did. Um, okay, let me. Can I put you on hold and see if uh, one of my maintenance guys called? Yeah, it says tenant had to put towels on bottom of door to prevent outflow of feces oh. into common area. I don't know if any of this is ringing um, any bells. It is not. Let me let me put you on hold and ask my maintenance guy if it's him that called. One second. What what oh, plumber are you from? I'm on the line. I'm on the line. I called him. Yes. Oh, he's on the line. What, hey, sir? what line? Do you call? I called you called you. about the... Yeah. yeah, so what's going on? It's saying here that there's... Ruth got the line there's uh, wastewater coming? coming out from yeah. under the... What? The roots. So the... Here it says in the notes that the tenant below is noticing a brown stain developing on the ceiling. Uh, we still have a situation Hello? where feces are being ejected out of the toilet? Yes, it's coming out. It's all over Okay, the what room are you in? Who are you? Who's this lady? Oh, she's, she works for the hotel. This is In the notes, we've got the room 215. No, I told you not to call her. She's not supposed to know about this. Well, if you actually are a guest here, it's going to be noticed. What's your name? That's Rude Rachel. Get her off the line. Rude Rachel, go away. Well, I don't know what my, prank I call this is, but I'm company. done playing. Okay, that's nice, honey, baby. But what about I'm the poop? I think she didn't tell us. Oh, I'm going to hang. Hello? Hi, do you happen to know where your mother is tonight? Who is this? I'm just wondering if you know where your mother is tonight. I don't understand who you're calling. I'm looking for your mother. Yeah, but what do you want from me? Your mother's butt? You need me to tell you Merry Christmas? I need your mother's butt, please. How do I know you? You can ask your mother that. How do I... Hello? Is Wyoming cold tonight? Who is this? 
Is Wyoming cold tonight? I don't I understand who you're calling. Should I pack a jacket? Yeah, but what do you want from me? Christmas happened five days ago. You need me to tell you Merry Christmas? <laughs>